And Koreans marked a key anniversary in the country's history on Wednesday. On April 19, 1960, Korea saw one of its most ferocious political protests, leading to the overthrow of the nation's first president. Many sacrificed their lives in the name of democracy on that day almost six decades ago. The candidates running in the upcoming presidential election also marked the occasion. Kim Hyun-bin has the details. Presidential nominees running in the election next month kicked off the day paying tribute to the nation's fallen heroes. Those who sacrificed their lives for democracy in this country 57 years ago. They made the firm policy lines, disagree in TV debates, and at times even take jabs at each other in negative campaigning. But at the April 19 National Cemetery on this Wednesday, the contenders had no discord, but lay wreathed, bowed, and remembered the democratic spirit. April 19, 1960. Violent demonstrations broke out across Korea, led by university students protesting against electoral fraud and government corruption. After hundreds paid with their lives, the revolutionaries succeeded in overthrowing South Korea's first president, Sung Man Yi, on April 26. Fifty-seven years later, on April 19, 2017, a state ceremony commemorating the pro-democracy movement took place at the April 19 National Ceremony in Seoul, the final resting place of some 400 revolutionaries. 먼저 부정과 불의에 맞서 곧다운 젊음을 바치신 민주 영령들의 고귀한 희생을 추모하며 온 국민과 함께 명복을 빕니다. 오랜 시간 아픈 상처를 안고 살아오신 유가족과 부상자 여러분께 깊은 위로의 말씀을 드립니다. It's been nearly seven decades, but those who lost their loved ones in that movement return to honor their memory, at least on this day, every year. My family and I had no idea my brother was part of such a revolution back then. We had thought he was just in school studying hard. But ever since we learned that he was one of the revolutionaries, we've been nothing but very proud. Hundreds of those who sacrificed their lives fighting for what we enjoy today are laid to rest here at the April 19th National Cemetery. And South Koreans, at least once a year, remember the movement, the spirit of April 1960, that nurtured the soil for South Korean democracy. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.